Fish with you, along with Kelly Stavis, Marty Snyder, Dave Burns, and the Peacock Pit Box will be back a little later as well with Chris Tavota, Dale Earnhardt Jr. and Steve Latart. Let's race it to the end. Less than two hours to go, Cal, and this race has been riveting. It really has. We just saw a change of position there to the inside of Jordan Taylor there. But watch this. Close course through traffic. Whoa. Jordan trying to thread the needle there. Tries to give his uh, competitor as much room at the inside and almost gets up into the side of the LMP2 machine. But good, clean, hard racing. A lot of respect shown today. Candy saw what was happening there and gave some room. That was Don Yount in the Performance Tech Motorsport Orica LMP2 prototype. Meanwhile, Kamui Kobayashi leads by just under 30 seconds. Ben Hanley leads in LMP2. Earl Bamba leads GTLM. And Marco Mappelli for Magnus GRT leads in GT Daytona. Let's check in with Kelly Stavis. Kel? been thrilling throughout this race in the GTLM category. John Edwards just got out of a triple stint in the family program and now Jordan jumping to the Corvette program and I tell you what Dave you gotta wonder who has the magic the kids behind the wheel or dad. I think Wayne might be the one with the magic stick. The exit of the bus stop is well sort of dug out and it's a big hit through there and these guys are still going hard. Tell us more, Marty. Well, you talk about Nick Tandy being a big NASCAR fan. You would tell me how you would tell you how much Lee. They had a race in Indianapolis a couple of years ago on a Friday. Nick Tandy bought tickets for the rest of the race weekend. Yeah, didn't ask for credentials. Bought tickets, sat in the stands, watched the Xfinity Series race at the Brickyard, then watched the Cup Series race at the Brickyard. Bought himself a Kyle Busch hat and also bought his kids Kyle Busch gear. Now, this weekend, he's got to talk to Dell Jr. on the pit box, Kelly, and got to race against Kyle Busch as well. Pretty cool weekend for Nick Tandy. Very cool. Just ahead of those Porsches. Porsches now coming back on the Corvette. Pass for position. Side drafting. NASCAR style. You saw the Corvette. Here comes a prototype in the mix with nowhere to go. Three wide into the bus stop. And we talked about the GTDs with the ABS analog brake system. And being able to oh, car. further car in, in the bus, the stop. bus stop into the grass. All that in NASCAR when a guy door jams you. <laughs> that's not the chrome horn, that's getting door jammed. Well, it's interesting. We've seen a couple of incidents tonight with drivers who typically. Oh, 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 it's on a Bobby Ray Hall and group. Look at this. In the draft, down to the bus stop. He's on the outside, is John Edwards. That's the long way around there. It really is. And Jamin is getting super defensive there. That's going to cost him lap time, cost Edwards lap time, and maybe allow the 911 and the 3 car to close in on the lead. Tell us more, Marty, about the two works Porsches. Oh, the battle is so much fun, Lee. What happens every pretty dicey, Calvin, because you've got to get back up before the banking is too extreme, and he just pulled it off. What a pass. Joao Barbosa. He's got the developed overnight. I just love the fact that we've got four different manufacturers in the top five positions for GT Le Mans, and confirming Brian Briscoe did beat Joao Barbosa out. So Wayne Taylor racing Cadillac, despite that penalty, that stop. Crone has got a run on Earl Bamba, the Kiwi. As Bamba ducks to the inside and hits pit lane, Jesse Crone takes the lead. Fascinated by at least the American fans. And you see the three. Right now, Jordan Taylor behind the wheel of that Corvette, currently fourth in the GTLM class. Scott Dixon, we were riding along with that number 10, Wayne Taylor, racing entry. As we look at Jordan Taylor once again. And it's interesting, I talked to Jordan Taylor on Thursday. Jordan Taylor might be one of the funniest social media uh, poster I've ever followed. Because he's got a, I don't know what you want to call it, Rodney Sandstorm is an alter ego, maybe? Uh, whatever he is. Well, Jordan has a lot of fun with movie clips, uh, with all sorts of different things that he will do on his social media. He's a must follow. He's a lot of fun. But when I sat down to talk to him, I said, Jordan, I'm, I'm telling you, I am very entertaining. And he was as calm and as dry as I've ever, I thought, my gosh, this can't be the same guy who puts all of this hilarious stuff on social media. He was just dry, calm. And he's like, 
yeah, I've got to separate myself from, you know, everybody else. So I, I do things a little different on social media. And I'm like, oh, my gosh, okay, Jordan. Have you seen his airplane pictures and stories? Oh, yeah. He's on the airplane. He oh, takes yes. pictures of the passengers that are beside him. <laughs> yeah. Well, he can then... fish with you, along with Kelly Stavis, Marty Snyder, Dave Burns, and the Peacock Pit Box will be back a little later as well with Chris Tavota, Dale Earnhardt Jr. and Steve Latart. Let's race it to the end. Less than two hours to go, Cal, and this race has been riveting. It really has. We just saw a change of position the inside of Jordan Taylor there. But watch this. Close course through traffic. Whoa. Jordan trying to thread the needle there. Tries to give his uh, competitor as much room at the inside and almost gets up into the side of the LMP2 machine. But good, clean, hard racing. A lot of respect shown today. Andy saw what was happening there and gave some room. That was Don Yount in the Performance Tech Motorsport Orica LMP2 prototype. Meanwhile, Kamui Kobayashi leads by just under 30 seconds. Ben Hanley leads in LMP2. Earl Bamba leads GTLM. And Marco Mappelli for Magnus GRT leads in GT Daytona. Let's check in with Kelly Stavis. Kel? And if it has been thrilling throughout this race in the GTLM category, John Edwards just got out of a 